I'd given up on baking good gluten-free bread at home until I found this gluten-free bread flour mix. This one uses no gums, requires no eggs, and allows you to make a good crusty artisan style loaf of bread, which I'll show you in a minute, that comes as close as I've experienced to regular wheat bread. After aggressively vetting this recipe with a number of gluten intolerant friends, we decided to finally launch a gluten-free section on Breadtopia to showcase this flour along with its sister all-purpose flour mix to cover most gluten-free baking needs. The loaf of bread I'm going to make now is a simple enriched bread. You can make three medium-sized loaves from this two-pound bag of flour. Here's everything we need to make the bread. The recipe is easy and compared to most bread recipes on our site, it's pretty fast too. The ingredients and quantities can be printed off our site, but here they are. Here's 300 grams of the bread flour. Add to that 24 grams of sugar, four grams of yeast. I'm using SAF red label yeast. Mix that up a little. Now I'm gonna add in 39 grams of softened butter. Then slowly mix in the, uh, the water and milk. Uh, this is the water and milk combined. It's 195 grams of water and 130 grams of milk. Once it's well mixed, then cover it and let it proof in a warm place for 15 minutes. After the 15 minute proof, you want to remix the dough and shape it for the final proof. Final proof is going to be about an hour, hour and 15, maybe even an hour and a half, depends on your room temperature. I'm going to shape it into a round shape, a boule, but you could just as easily shape it into a, form it into an oblong shape for a standard bread pan. Sometimes it helps to uh, oil your hands a little bit or wet them so that uh, the dough doesn't stick. And then I'm gonna put it into a, this small proofing basket dusted with rice flour. and then cover it until it's about, you're gonna let it prove until it's about doubled in volume. This has been in a warm proofing box for a little over an hour. Probably would have taken about an hour and a half at room temperature. Anyway, it's about doubled in volume, so let's bake it. I'm even gonna score it like I would with regular wheat bread to give it a good look. Mm. 
and then bake it in a covered baker at 400 degrees for an hour. After an hour of baking with the lid on, I'm going to give it an additional 15 minutes uncovered. When it's all done, there you have it, a respectable loaf of gluten-free bread. This bread has a really nice crust, a nice moist crumb. It has a great taste. It's just great bread for toast, sandwiches, French toast, or all by itself.